Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I stand alone gaming. Today's episode, we're going to finish building our garage. And also, it is horde night. So, tonight there will be a horde. So, with that being said, we're going to jump right into finishing up our base. Let's go ahead and grab these. Might as well grab that. So we need to craft some more cement. Before we do that, we actually need some stone. We have stone on us. Go ahead and make some more stone. A thousand. Or uh, sand, I mean. Uh, we also have 3,000 cement already. So we have that. And we only need another 1,000 stone. So let's go ahead and farm that real quick so we can get those crafted. So we have the thousand stone. We're just gonna throw this right in here. And we'll come back for it in a little bit. Gotta let that craft uh sand craft. So we've been making pretty good progress. Only thing I want to do is upgrade the rest of it. Got a wolf over there. But yeah, I just want to upgrade the rest of it just in case birds decide to attack there. The wood won't be the weakest part. And we should still have them all funnel through our hallway here. The killing corridor, if you will. So, let's go ahead and kill this wolf. You know what? We have some arrows. Let's go ahead and use the bow this episode. We got ten. We got some arrowheads. Pretty sure we can craft some arrowheads, too. So, maybe we should... Craft a bunch of arrows real quick. Where's our feathers? There they are. And we have wood on us. So let's see how many arrowheads we can actually craft. And we can craft a lot of them. So let's just go ahead and craft... Uh, not three. So 100 for now back for that then too get that out of there so now that we have our arrows you got to hold R use the iron arrow button make sure you're crouching you want to get that sneak damage and tink Ooh, didn't kill him Got him. All right, pull your knife out. All right, so there's not much we can really do. Uh, we did craft that garage door. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're kind of just waiting for the crater to open. So I'm not sure exactly how this door... Um if it rolls away from you or if it rolls towards you when you first put it down. I'm going under the assumption that it will roll away from you. So I'm going to put this in. If it's wrong, I'll know for next time. If it's right, either way, I'm going to end up breaking it down and putting an electric one in. All right, so it rolls away from you. So I got it right this time. So this is our lovely garage. Eventually, we'll have some vehicles parked in here. I think it'll look pretty neat once everything's said and done, so let's go ahead and add to this pillar just because it looks a little bit better and I kind of want to have like a little workstation over here, kind of. Also, I'm thinking I might add stairs right here and just add stairs up instead of having the ladder. We'll see what happens, though. And then uh, once everything is squared away and the roof isn't fixed, I'm going to dig out our doorway here. Go ahead and upgrade these real quick. So there's definitely one more thing that I would like to do before we get too busy. Let's go ahead and type in dirt. I want to make a bunch of dirt. I want to flatten this area out a little bit. Let's go grab some of our... Grab some of our clay. 
and let's craft uh let's say about 50. put that back in there got 100 arrows let's go ahead and craft our arrows quick and the trader is now open so let's go see what quests we have for today and then once we come back everything should be crafted and we should be ready to finish everything let's go ahead on our bike i know it's not far but it makes it a little bit quicker as long as you don't drive like i do Check out the vending machine while we're here. Only things I really buy are eye candy and the sugar butts. We got the best prices. Now that you have some money to spend, we're running a 10% off sale for the rest of the day. Got a, I mean, we've got a pretty decent claw hammer there we could sell. It's probably the only thing I take. We have some first aid still at the house. We don't really need the brace mod. Brace mod could add a decent chunk of change to another item, but this already gives us 700. So let's go ahead and take this. And that is our 10th quest for tier three, actually. So we're moving along pretty damn good, in my opinion. And uh, you got a bunch of stuff here. I don't know if half of it is. I'm assuming this gives you a bundle of leather armor. This will give you a bunch of ranged mods. You can take iron armor armor you can grab a chemistry station which i don't think i'm going to because i can craft it and you can't sell it or you can grab the farm bundle and i think that's what i'm going to do just because i haven't investigated but uh farming at all and i'd like to so let's grab the farm bundle here and let's see what job she has now oh let me go back special jobs wow 3.1 kilometers definitely not doing that today I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Yeah, let's see if we could do. Got to clear zombies 95 meters away. That's probably that house that messed up on us earlier. Go ahead and do the fetch and clear. That's 500. I, need someone to... I had a good feeling about you. Good luck. So we're going to go bang that out quick while we're waiting for our stuff to craft. And then by the time we're done with that, we should be ready to go. Let's open this real quick. Some seeds and farm plots. So let's head to our quest. All right, here we are. Go nuts, donuts, police station. And that one doesn't look marked at all. So let me head in here. Let's pull out our candy cane of justice. I don't sound happy. Keep looting until they break in. Just ignore that's even happening. Got a dynamite schematic. Pipe bomb, sorry. Same difference. Surprise me like that, how dare you? Go ahead and drink some of our coffee. Drink that. I can hear him, I don't see him. Oh, there they are. Angry. That one's a feral. But we made it up to the roof. Oh, that was dumb of me. I just wanted to check out like the view and it was like oh yeah we're gonna break on you a little plug right here i 
think they broke in. I think they broke in, but you're not up here yet, so let's just ignore them still. Waiting for a bird. Alright, so this is the police building. I'm sure we'll be cops somewhere. Jesus, scared the piss out of me. Ooh. So it says go jump down there. I want to check out the rest of this building quick. See if there's anything we missed. Definitely not. My problem. Well, that woke everybody up. Broken glass, paper, iron. Come right for me. Sound like there's so many. I'm on top of you. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Was not expecting that. One down. Yeah, just wrecking them. Really? I can hear a spider monkey, but I don't see him. I'm surrounded. I can keep heading down, but I want to check out what's in here. open robotic sledge that's always good use those take the gas got some arrowheads there drop the coffee don't need one electrical part don't need one cloth drink this coffee Take all those parts. And we have one chest left over. So we got we got a first aid bandage. Might as well use that. Use the book. 
we can get rid of the scrap polymer, take the parts, get rid of the murky water, we'll take the bullets. Now we're pretty full up. Get rid of the corn, take the bullets. Get rid of the rotten meat, take the weapon parts. Damn, more parts. You can get rid of the three pieces of lead. More parts. <laughs> oh man. Get rid of the animal fat. Take get rid of the leather. We don't really need any either of those. Sounds like we might if they actually get inside here. Freedom! Oh wait, we didn't clear the area. So there's a lot more zombies to kill. We just don't know where. Oh, there's more to this POI, I take it. Where'd you come from? No one asked you. Head up. Jump over. We got only a few more zombies to handle. And hopefully we're done. Oh, we were already here. I guess there's two ways they reach the same point. That's pretty cool. So let's get out of here. Beating on stuff in there still. See you guys back in the trader. Alright, here we are back at the trader. High noon. Clearly says it's gonna be a horde night tonight. So don't spend it all in one place. But if you do, make sure it's here. All these are pretty good rewards. Um, kind of a hard pick. I do like the compound bow. Uh, reason being, it will be a little bit stronger than ours, especially after we throw the upgrade on. But the compound bow actually shoots a little bit faster too. And uh, that usually means, well, maybe not. I thought it did. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the steel boots. Reason being, look at that sell price. That sell price is beautiful. And all you got to do really is throw a mod on it and it will be even better. Let's go ahead and throw this glue out real quick. It's only one piece. We'll pick it back up. So that is our quest for today and the rest of the episode will probably be finishing our build over on the roof of our garage here. Go ahead and throw everything in the box that we don't need. Throw our seeds and our farm plot in here. We'll take care of that maybe in the next episode after Fortnite. Bunch of weapon parts. Eventually we're going to end up moving this whole storage thing and actually start naming the boxes and stuff. But for now, we're going to keep using it. Got a bunch of uh, mods in here. A lot of selling stuff in here and everything else we can kind of keep but we'll throw these in here keep our wrench throw the meat in here you can actually probably craft some real quick oh yeah with that being said i made the boiled eggs and a bunch of other meats 
turns out the best one was boiled meat. So if you're going to be using your meat, go ahead and make boiled meat because it gives you food, health, and water, and a stamina bonus. Whereas these just give you a 10 food, 5 health, and a 10 stamina bonus. So if you're just looking for the bonus, go ahead and make the simpler item with the boiled egg or the grilled meat. They still give you the same bonus. But if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck out of your meat, boiled meat's where it's at so far. Because even if you go to the grilled meat, it does the same as the eggs over here. So you're better off using one egg compared to the five meat that it takes for the grilled meat. So keep that in mind. Oh, we need to throw some wood in here. Let's see what bacon and egg gets us. Alright, so we should be good for now. Let's go ahead and check on our materials down here. We got all the stuff that we need. Let's go ahead and grab that. Now we need to make our concrete mix. Like that. Mix that. This one is where it needs to iron for the anvil. With that being said, we have a decent amount of both. So let's see if we can finish our roof off real quick. So I'm going to finish this off and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, they saw me. All right. Candy cane putting in some work. So they just randomly hit stuff along their little route here. So just make sure that you're repairing anything. It looks like they didn't do too much damage. So good on them. But while we're down here, let's go ahead and show you my plan for down here. So I'm going to take this apart. Oh my God, it's going to take forever. I'm going to take both these apart, fill it in with dirt. So it looks better. I'll see you guys in a second. Go ahead and equip our dirt. Now we just want to fill this in. Go ahead and craft some more dirt. Grab some of our clay. Craft 100 this time. Doesn't hurt to have extra. In fact, we have some right here. Just want it to be level with the road here. While we wait, let's go finish our roof. cobblestone now uh before we go ahead and start with the cement i feel like we should go and grab some of the ones we have been crafting i feel like we're gonna run out just so we're a little bit more prepared extra 600 never hurt anybody so let's get back up there and we'll finish the roof
right, even though we grabbed extra, we still ran out, so we have to wait a little bit longer for the crafting. But while we wait, we're already prepared. Let's go ahead and throw the dirt into here. Let's go a little bit further, just so it looks a little bit better. All right, now the only thing left to do is to take out this guardrail. The thunder? Looks pretty clear out for a thunderstorm. Wonder if that's my warning. All right, so there's only a few more things that I want to take care of. One thing being, go ahead and look for your shape. Screamer. Son of a bitch. No ferals, at least. Or so it seems. Oh, he's a feral. Come on, Candy Cane, do your thing. That was unfortunate, but we got it done. So before I got rudely interrupted, we want to go into shapes. So when you're making an actual garage here, you want to make sure. I heard footsteps. Hold on. Where did these extra ones come from? All right, hopefully that's all of them. I have to stop getting interrupted. So when you're making your ramp to your base, you want to make sure it's um, as least slanted as possible. So I don't know exactly what kind of extra shapes they added in, but you can see how this one's pretty steep. You want something like a gradual build up here. Go ahead back to our shapes. And we got a look. So I think these combination right here, you got the one one quarter and uh, the other one. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and split these. And we'll try to change both. So we'll go to one quarter. There we go. This, this one should do it. All right, do the same for for this and we'll take the towel one next time so now you want to put these right here you want to put these at the bottom now i'm pretty sure this is what we used earlier also so if you would like you could go ahead and expand this all the way over and line up with your door here that's not what i wanted Even wrap around the side here if you'd like. Before we get too heavy into it, there's also one other thing I want to do before tonight. It involves forged steel, so let's grab our forged steel. Uh, we also want to craft some more frames, frame shapes. Grab this, craft some forged steel, and off to the races. We're cutting our time fairly close. Let's go to the roof first, and then we'll finish up on the bottom. Reason being, like I said, if there's birds, I don't want them to attack us.
Ran out of cobblestone. One more thing. Pick up our bike. Close these behind us. Repair what we can. I have some steel on us. I can go ahead and upgrade these to steel. That'll be it for today, at least. One other thing I want to do. This is the reason I picked up my bike. Is I want to grab our Molotovs and our pipe bombs here. And it seems like we don't have much ammo for our AK, so our AK is going to be out of commission for today. We do have a shotgun. We do have some bows, bow and arrows. We'll just have to wing it and see what happens. So the uh, bacon and eggs actually gives you the most food. Uh, still gives you the same stamina bonus, so I heard footsteps. Must not know we're here. So yeah, if you want the most out of your food, get bacon and eggs. If you just want the stamina bonus, go ahead and make the cheap regular eggs. And if you want the most bang for your buck, you want food, health, and water, go ahead and make the boiled meat. All of which take five regular meats, so you're not missing out on any meat at that point. You know what we should have? We need to make some repair kits before Fortnite for sure. So we grab that, grab our duct tape, head down here. Actually, can we craft them in our inventory? Repair. Let's just craft them all. Throw our duct tape back in here. Throw our iron back in here. And let's grab an extra stack of uh, shotgun shells. And we're going to have to hope for the best tonight. Uh, we don't have the AK. We only have a double barrel shotgun. Uh, we didn't have many repair kits. Unfortunately, we only needed it for the candy cane right now. Uh, we're not going to be able to make them all. So. so, I mean, we can repair this stuff afterwards. We don't need it during the horde night per se. So we can actually take these off. Keep the axe, the shotgun, and all that happy stuff. Close these up. Of course, we got a freaking screamer right at the beginning here. We're going to have a lot of incoming, and it's about to be Horde Night, so it's going to be a fun one. Do a quick repair or a reload. Be careful when you're throwing your Molotov in here. Last thing you want to do is catch yourself on fire. Hold on to that for me, would you? Get some repairs in. We need some iron. Take that. Toss in some repairs. There we go. pretty good but we still have four hours to go so if they keep coming we might end up in some trouble
we need some stamina. Now we're making it through our second hatch now. It's just so many. to heal before we do that just in case we got a full first aid bait kit right here typically i bring these stuff with me i forgot this time last thing you want to do is be running back and forth in the middle of your horde time they break one you just want to open your next one Yeesh. But you can see, if you don't have some sort of defense, this could quickly get out of hand. Uh oh, gotta repair. Almost running out of room here. Gotta survive for at least one more hour. No matter how many zombies you killed, the horde always stops at four o'clock. You can hear the buzzers beating down from above us. I gotta get more water, we're running out of stamina. I'm not even taking my own advice. I mentioned having all that stuff ready for you on the first horde night. It's too busy building. You can see how time can quickly get away from you. But we're still doing all right. We definitely could have been doing better though. Sounds quiet, but it's really not. All right, at four o'clock, no matter what, zombie stops spawning in. Not only that, but they move a lot slower. day is finished all that's left to do is to loot plenty of bags out here looks like they didn't damage anything other than our hallway which was our goal let's go ahead and drop off some of this stuff and then we'll finish our loot all right loot time fire axe Steel sludge. 
Actually, that was an iron one. And scrap these, scrap those. Should probably scrap the iron chest here. Fire axe, iron sledge. Tier six padded leg armor. Ooh, we found a treasure map. Oh shit, that one just disappeared on us. Lame. All right, so yeah, you can just clearly see that they made it decently far into here. Um, they definitely wouldn't have have made it as far if we had like a pump shotgun. Uh, but we just don't have that luxury right now, so. Uh, either we're going to have to upgrade to vault hatches next time or something like that. But with that being said, we finished the horde on day 15. That'll conclude this episode, episode 15. So if you like this episode, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more of this content, please subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.